Hello once again, welcome back to another Tuesday Talk. The scripture says in Psalms that the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky proclaims his handiwork. Yesterday, NASA's $10 billion project called the James Webb Telescope uh, sent back or NASA revealed yesterday um, one of the first images taken from this telescope. I don't know if you had a chance to see it, you can Google it. I'll put it up here on the screen so you can see it as well. This image here, as you're seeing this image, uh, all those objects you see uh, on that screen right now, what's amazing about that is each one of those is a galaxy. Now, hear what I just said, a galaxy, not a star. So right now I'm outside, I can't see the sun is, uh, it's a warm sunny day here on Tuesday here in Maryland. But if I look up, up right now, I can't see stars. But if I come out here this evening, and I look up, the sky will be filled with stars, even though I live pretty much in the city. Baltimore is just literally about two miles that way for me. So the, the light kind of dims the ability to see the stars, but th you could see some good stars if it was clear, but those are stars. Each one of those are stars. But when you look at that image I just showed you, those are galaxies. Each one of those represents billions of stars. And what's even crazier about this image is, is I have some salt right here. Uh, if I put some salt in my hand and, and I was able to pick out um, one grain of salt, which is actually a lot harder than I thought, and you can't see it, it's right here on the tip of my finger. Um, I have a little grain of salt and uh, I don't think the camera will focus on something quite that small. But if I take this grain of salt that's now currently resting on my thumb and I, and I place it out at arm's distance, so something like that, right? This little grain of salt in comparison to all of what I'm seeing, that speck compared to the entirety of my image here is the size of that picture I just showed you in comparison to the size of the universe. Now, now watch this, ready? We just said the heavens declare the glory of God and that the, the sky proclaims his handiwork. Now, that image you just saw, which just, it's just bursting with colors and shapes and each one of those is a galaxy. And within those galaxies, there's millions, if not billions of stars, which in each one of those galaxies. But that one small image I showed you, in comparison to everything I'm seeing right now, was just a little tiny grain of salt in the entirety of the universe. Now, I know for some of you, 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 you that may not really land with you for a moment, but, but let's take that image, right? Not just what the scripture says, but take the magnitude of that image that is shown to us and it's I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm a closet astronomer uh, I don't really know much about the stars but I'm fascinated by it uh, several years ago for my birthday uh, I was given a telescope I love the sky because one thing when you look up at the sky you realize is the vastness of everything that we're a part of and perspective is an amazing thing you see, uh, some of you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm on the taller side. I don't consider myself super tall, but I'm 6'5", with shoes on, probably 6'4 and a half now at 41 years old. I've shrunk a little bit without shoes. I'm closer to 6'4 and a half, so with shoes, I'm 6'5". And most of the time I go around during the day, um, I'm taller than everyone around me. And um, if I go to Walmart, usually, if I go to Walmart, eventually they're gonna have to start paying me for this because when I go to Walmart, usually some sweet little lady asks me to get something off the shelf. And uh, so I go to Walmart and while I'm shopping, I'm helping others shop because my height allows me to reach up and to grab things off the shelf. Um, but it's amazing, I walk around most days and, I, and I, I'm taller than everybody else. But years ago when I was in college, uh, I was at the University of Maryland and I uh, befriended a man, a, a, a guy that was on the basketball team at the time. And one day we were, we were, we got done class and he said, hey, you want to go to lunch with some of my friends? I'm not thinking who his friends are. I, I should have known like his friends or the guys on the team, but I wasn't thinking, sure, I'll go to lunch with you guys. So I go over there and I walked into the place where they were sitting and the rest, most of the basketball team was there eating. And there's like seven or eight of them. And when they were all stood up, when we got done eating, we all stood up. Suddenly, I didn't feel so tall because my friend, his name was John Gilchrist. He was like 6'3". So I was a little taller than John. But everybody else, I mean, I felt like a little kid. They were 6'8", 6'9", 
6'10", 6'11", and I'm standing there amongst all these guys, and I go, my God, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm small because of the perspective. Now, in Genesis chapter 18, God is giving Abraham and Sarah this promise. At the time, they were older, what seemed to be uh, the natural time for childbirth had passed them, and God gives them a promise that they're going to have a child. And what would most of us seem to be quite interesting that God would promise somebody later on in life when their prime seemed to have passed them, God says to them, you're going to bear a child. In the process, Sarah laughs. But in chapter 18 of Genesis, God says to Abraham, he said, why did Sarah laugh? when I told her this. And here's the question God asked Abraham. And this is what I believe God wants to ask you today. He said this, Abraham, is there anything too hard for God? Now, I, I believe this so strongly today. God put this in my heart for somebody. Because right now, perspective, you're looking around at perspective and everything around you seems bigger. We were talking about the economy and inflation and gas prices and stress of finances and you've got sickness or you've got family issues or all the stuff, maybe just your life and direction and decisions you're having to make and the next steps of life and maybe you're in between careers or maybe you're having to find a new career. Maybe there's a lot of things swirling around and when you look at all that, it looks really big and you feel really small. The decisions of all that make look impossible but let me give you a little different perspective of that today. I wanna to put that image back on the screen for you. Look at this image again. You see this image? The God who created every one of these galaxies, and I wanna keep running, putting that word out there, galaxies, not stars. The God who created every one of these galaxies is the same God that is with you and in you and for you. You see, the devil is a master of illusion. He wants to make your problems, your difficulties, your situation look so big and God looks so small and you feel so small and your faith feels so small. But we have a huge God, not a big God. We have a massive God. We have a God that fills all space and all time. We have a God who fills all space, not just earth space, but all space. And that God, that little God, that little speck of, of, uh, of, of universe that that picture represents by the grain of salt on the tip of a finger held out at arm's distance, that God fills all of this. Now tell me, my friend today, is there anything too hard for that God? Come on. Do you think anything you're going through right now, that God is up there going, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Gabriel, Michael, we need to have a meeting, guys. Um, do you know gas prices get, are really high and, and uh, there's a lot of financial stress and there, there's, there's, uh, there's unrest in the land? I don't know what to do, guys. What do you think we should do? No, that God is the God who just with words spoke all that into existence. Tonight, I challenge you, if it's a clear where you're living, maybe go outside for a moment. I will say, I, I like recording outside, even though sometimes I think my neighbors are passing by, they think I'm a little crazy. Every once in a while, I just gotta throw them a little wave. But you know what? I love being outside because something about worshiping God outside in nature is awesome. Because when you look around and you go, I mean, there's right now, you may be hearing in the background birds chirping. There are birds flying over there, trees, nature. Who takes care of all this? Because amazing, the trees behind me, if you left them right there the way they are, you came back 250 years from now, they'd still be there. Who takes care of that? The God who created all that. Why did you think Jesus said, who, who feeds the sparrows? Do you really honestly think anything you're going through right now is too hard for God? Oh, I, you, I've, got, I've got sickness in my body. Is your sickness bigger than the galaxies in that picture? I've got, I've got, I've got difficulties. Are there any difficulties you're going that are bigger than that? And don't forget that picture you see of those galaxies is not even one one thousandth of the entirety of all the universe. And my God is bigger than the universe. So can I tell you today, someone needs to get from, from fresh perspective. Is there anything too hard for God? 
Some of you have seen me use this before, but I'll use it again. If I stand back far enough and I use my hand out, I can cover my face with my hand. If I got far enough back here that I could cover large buildings with my hand because the perspective of my view says my hand is bigger than what I'm looking at. But we all know that if we get close enough, my hand gets smaller, my head gets larger, not because my head grows and my, head, my hand shrinks, but because perspective changes my viewpoint. If you're far away from God today, if you've lost your connection with Jesus Christ, if you don't understand his love, his mercy, his grace, yeah, today you're right, your problems do look big. But if you would draw close to Jesus, because he says he draws close to us, if you would draw close to Jesus, you'll begin to realize there's nothing in your life that's too big for God. That's the one thing about worship that's so wonderful. As I give God worship and praise, it doesn't change God, but it changes my viewpoint of God. Several years ago, I was saying the word, let's magnify God. And I thought, well, it just hit me. Well, that's kind of a strange thing. How can you magnify God? How can God get bigger than he already is? But it hit me. What does magnification do? If I, if I take a, a magnifying glass right now and I put it up, magnifying glasses are gonna make something bigger to my perspective. When I begin to magnify God, not that God needs to get any bigger, but when I begin to magnify God, he gets bigger in my eyes. And when he gets bigger in my eyes and faith starts to grow in me, I can say, is there anything too hard for God? No, my problems, no, my difficulties, no, sickness, no, because I have a God who nothing, God, he said it, with man, it's impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Today, I hope I'm encouraging you in the Holy Ghost with some faith today, that if you're depressed, you're down, you're struggling, you're dealing with doubt and unbelief because you don't know if it's possible. Can I tell you, look at that image again. Look up at the sky and get some fresh perspective that greater is he that is in me than he's in the world. There is a huge God and little problems. Oh, you don't know how big my problem is. I, I, maybe to you and I, the problem's big. But for God, he's a huge God, little problems. Huge God, little devil. Our God is greater. Our God is greater. So I'm challenging you, to, you today, wherever your faith may be, is there anything too hard for God? Is there? Is there anything too hard for God? That's what I believe God's asking you today. Not I'm asking you. I believe the Holy Ghost wanted me to ask you today. Is there anything too hard for God? Is there? Is there anything too hard for God? We all know the answer. Of course not. So if it's not too hard for God, what are we worrying about? We just got to connect in our faith and believe and trust in the one who's able to do exceeding and abundantly above all we can ask or think. As always, thank you for being with me on Tuesday Talks. We're here most Tuesdays. You can catch the rest of Tuesday Talks here right on the playlist. Subscribe to our channel to get fresh Tuesday Talks every week. If this has blessed you, and I pray in Jesus' name it, it uh, did, feel free to share this with somebody who also may need a word of encouragement today. As always, God bless you. And remember, is there anything too hard for God? Until next time, God bless. Mm -hmm.